Joining us today is Una Marabito, Senior Vice President, Client Management for Mass Mutual. Una, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. Terrific. Well, one of the things we like to talk about at Loyalty 360 is alignment, and we'd like to get your thoughts on how you're addressing alignment between the brand promise and your loyalty efforts. Absolutely. So in order to deliver on our promise to all of our customers, uh, we think it's essential to be organized around the customer and making sure that you're aligned with your customer needs. Uh, so our organizational structure is one where uh, we create alignment internally so that uh, it's easy to make decisions um, and easy to put solutions in front of a customer. Terrific. And how does employee engagement fit into this? Because I'm sure you have to you know, get everybody on board with the culture. Absolutely. I mean, employee engagement um, is key to any company's success. Um, and if your employees are not engaged, your customers are not going to be engaged. Um, and one of the things that we have focused on is truly um, building an infrastructure whereby there's complete transparency for our employees. So they're, they're seeing customer feedback on a daily basis and we're building an environment where they can thrive and put that feedback to work real time. So they can, uh, they see something that they think can be done better, they can bring it forward and it'll be addressed? Absolutely, so, so we award people based on their ability to present and implement innovative ideas for the customer. Terrific. So what are the challenges and opportunities with personalization? Because, of course, one of the cornerstones of loyalty is when customers feel like they, you know, the organization or the uh, company knows them. Yeah, I mean, it's a me market, right? Every, it's about me all the time. Um, so you have to meet the customer where they want to be met. Um, so by putting the voice of the customer front and center, it helps you understand what their needs are. Um, and then personalize a solution for them. You can't uh, rely on demographics. Uh, a 50 year, every 50-year-old man is going to be different, right, in terms of what their unique financial situation is going to be, and they need solutions to meet their individual needs. Um, so the infrastructure that we've built to gather feedback from our customers uh, allows us to personalize the solutions as we move forward. And to that end, uh, what is the challenge in listening to customers? Because as our CEO, Mark Johnson, is always fond of saying, the customers will say one thing, but they really mean another. So how do you kind of distinguish what they're saying and what they're actually meaning? Yeah, I mean, lis listening to the customer is, is obviously critical. And in my business, the customer des doesn't necessar necessarily know what they want. Um, they don't know that they need a retirement plan to help them uh, get to their ultimate retirement goal. Um, you know, they want that what they want and what they'll talk about is, you know, I want a dream, dream vacation when I retire. Um, I want to live at the beach. Um, and we have to take that want and build out a solution that will get them there. And do you find people there's varying degrees of knowledge because back in before the crash, I was really following the markets and then after that I was kind of like, ugh, do I really want to follow this so depressing? But do you find that there's people with different, my father-in-law was a huge in on investing and he was very close to it. And my mom, she just lets the, her, her brokers handle it. Yeah. I think there, there's different types of, of uh, individuals. You've got some who will do it for themselves. They're investment savvy, they know what they want, know what they need. Um, and then you have people who need a little bit of help. They've got some knowledge, but they need a little bit of help. Um, and then you have those who, who truly want you to take on the responsibility and do it for them. Um, so again, it goes back to the personalization. You need to understand what type of investor um, every individual is and then deliver a solution uh, based, based on that type of investment uh, savviness that they have. Great. Yeah. Well, Una, thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Glad to be here. Thanks.